And welcome back. Here are my latest updates on the Ford Truck Month build, the Lindbergh 34 Ford pickup. So today I've got a few more things done. I've got the wheels put together, got the radiator detailed up. I got a little bit of uh, chrome paint on the V8 symbol. Got the chrome <clears throat> cap on the top of the radiator cover. Got the red brush, dry brush with some uh, brass color. As you know, the detail uh, is done on the dashboard, and I've done the, uh, get a hold of it here, detail painted the instruments, it's so small, if I can focus on it here, that'll plug into the back of the dashboard, and I've got the, uh, I guess what are brake drums, painted as well. So I think now I can start putting this thing together. Oh yes, and I've got the interior done. The floor painted in flat black, and the pedals in, shift levers, and the seat. So that's about ready to go in as so well. So the assembly begins. I've got the chassis attached to the fenders, and I've got the interior with the floor the and the seats attached to the um, the fenders as well. So that part is done. I've got the detail painting done on the hood. The radiator is together. And the front and back pieces on. And the little cap on top. Tires and wheels are together. Headlights are in. Got the dash in the cab. And the steering wheel and the gauges and the uh, firewall. Got the uh, the bed is done. Got the gas cap on here, and uh, it's hard to tell, but I painted the light with the uh, translucent red, and the lights on the tow bar. The tailgate is painted. I got the chain and the painting and the on the back tailgate there. So it's starting to come together, and the fit is is very good. Everything's gone in well. I know Ken at Showrod Garage, I was looking at the build he made a few years ago of this kit. He did a really nice job, but he was saying that he had a really hard time. He couldn't get the windshield to go in and the back window. And uh, I had no trouble with that at all. It just popped right in there and uh, I glued it in. You can see the firewall on there popped right in as well. Focus this a bit here. So far everything's been uh, fitting very well. Uh, the only problem I had is I tried to put a license plate decal on and uh, I cut it off, put it in the water, and when I took it out of the water it split into about 8 or 10 pieces. So the decal sheet uh, probably needs to be sprayed with some sealer first as it's uh, getting old. Other than that, uh, it's been a great kit. As you saw before, the axles are just thin peeps of styrene. Uh, so the, the uh, rear one went in, not too bad, I just had to, uh, I had painted it, so I had to scrape the paint off and open the holes a little bit on each side and push it through the rear axle. And But the front one uh, just glues to the inside of the, uh, I guess, uh, I'm not sure what the part's called, but there's the spring, cross springs there. So it just sort of sets in there with some glue. So what I did is I placed it in there uh, with a toothpick against it and then clamped the two together. Um, so you can sort of see... I've lost my pointer. Just a second. Okay, so this might be a better angle. So you can see the yellow rod here is pushed in against the uh, the black, I guess it's the spring or frame here. And I have a toothpick beside it and then I clamped that together and I ran some, to me, a thin glue uh, along the inside edge there. So hopefully that will hold it. It's broken off once already. So uh, I hope that will hold it a little better. It's just a kind of a flimsy way of doing it, but uh, that's what it is. I'll put a couple of pictures that uh, might help show it a little better. I'm back again. I've got the cab glued on and uh, 
I've got the radiator. It's a snug fit. It's a friction fit. I don't think I'm going to glue that in because when you put the hood on, because of the shape of the hood, it's it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top, and it's really hard to fit that on there with the radiator in the way. So what I can do is tilt the radiator forward, pop the, the hood on and off, and then push the uh, radiator back into place. You just have to line up these two pipes here with the holes in the top of the radiator, and then everything should line up. When I was mocking this up for some pictures, I noticed that I had the lights in backwards on the tow uh, rig here. So I had to break them off, turn them around, and glue them back in again. So that's done. And while I was at it, I uh, got the tonneau cover out and painted it up. The flat black with a satin finish, a clear finish. And I just a uh, chrome pen, I just touched up the buttons on the side. And uh, you'll see some pictures of that uh, before I put the the tow winch on the on the bed, and I've got the uh, tailgate on the on the bed of the truck. So we're getting there, almost done. One more thing: um, the bed of the truck is such a tight fit in between the fenders, it just sort of snaps in place. So I'm probably not going to glue that in either. Um, it's just would mess. I'd take a chance of messing up the paint if I tried to glue it in, so it'll just uh, be a snap fit. Well, I've got the tow winch assembly put together. What I used was some uh, picture hanging wire. If it's a real cable, I thought it would look very realistic. So I managed to wrap about three strands around the pulley and uh, up through the top through that pulley and put the hook on the end. And now I've got the lights in place and uh, I'm hoping that will work well. That's what I'm going to use for my tow cable. Stay tuned for the final reveal coming up soon. Thanks for watching.